My name is Derek Franklin and I'm an applications engineer here at GoEngineer. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how we can change the warning icon and background color settings in the SOLIDWORKS PDM task pane. Now if you are currently a PDM user, um, you've probably seen this before, whereas if I'm in SOLIDWORKS and I make a change to a document for, on a file that's in my vault, I may see different colors show up in the background letting me know that there's been a change to my local version as compared to the document in the vault. And these are these colors are controlled by options um, within the SOLIDWORKS interface here. So again, I'm just going to show you where those are. So if you go over to Tools, and you go to SOLIDWORKS PDM and Options. And then click the View Setting tab. So down here at the bottom, these are where all of our colors for our backgrounds and things can be changed and controlled. So you can see here uh, under my status, if I deselect that box, that turns off all background colors for all the statuses. Or I can go to individual status statuses and, and turn those on or off to my heart's desire. Um, now, what I'm going to do is show you a quick example of just how this uh, looks. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK or uh, cancel here to not make any changes. And I'm just going to open up uh, a component here in this assembly. Just make a quick change. How about we just change the fillet size here? So just go make a minor change here and take this down to 0.125 inches and go ahead and say OK. And then I'm going to save the part file and go ahead back to my assembly. And you'll notice in the tree that I have that background color of green on that component, just letting me know that my local file is now of a newer version than the file that's currently existing in my vault. Now again, I can, if I don't like that background color, I can change that. So I'm going to go back to my options here. And maybe I want to change the color or maybe I just don't want to show it all together. So I'm just going to deselect that box. Uh, for the newer version and say OK. So now you can see that green color is gone. Now maybe I want to show the green color but maybe not have the full background shown in green. So I'm going to go back into the options and another thing you could do is if I turn on, turn back on that checkbox and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect the option that says show background colors and say OK. So you'll notice that the icon shows green, but I don't have that full green background there. So uh, maybe I prefer that. So again, these are just different ways that you can manipulate um, the colors and how you want them to show. Again, some people prefer them, some people don't. I've been asked a few times. So again, just back here in the options, if I want to uh, turn off any other uh, statuses, I could do that. Um, I can also change the color here, like I mentioned earlier, just by clicking under the background color column and changing the color to whatever I prefer. So again, there you have it, just a way to be able to manipulate those. These are client-specific settings, so they can be set differently for every client. And again, it's just whatever you desire. So I hope you enjoy watching. Thanks, and have a great day.